Hey guys, Mr. C here, and we're going to do a second step lesson card. But before we get started on the second uh, step lesson card, uh, let's do a little bit of brain warming up. Uh, so some brain building. Here's a game called Clap and Wait. It has two rules to it. The first rule is you want to count the number of claps I make and the number of weights I make. A weight is when I move my hands, but I don't actually clap. Second rule is you want to wait until I say ready, set, go before you try and repeat what I do with my claps and weights. Do some self-talk in your head to try and remember. All right, let's do a practice one. You ready? Some clap and wait. Watch first, then wait until I say ready, set, go, and then you do it. Okay, ready, set, go. Did you get clap, clap, wait, clap? All right, let's do one more for a brain building exercise. Ready, here's my claps and weights. Watch, count, listen. Ready, set, go. Did you get clap, 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 wait, 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 clap, 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 wait, 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 clap. If you did, great job with your brain building exercises. Okay, we have a couple of guests, Puppy and Snail. Here they are, here's Puppy and Snail. Okay, so Puppy wants to talk about an accident that happened yesterday. Okay, you go ahead. Well, yesterday, I was really excited about going out onto the playground and playing Lava Monster. And as I was going up the playground stuff really fast, I didn't see that Snail was climbing up the playground and I, I, I accidentally knocked him over. Oh, ooh. I fell down and I really hurt myself. Well, I quickly went over to, to Snail and I said, oh, I'm sorry. Snail, I wasn't paying attention and I didn't see you. It was an accident. Are you okay? I was going to be really angry at Puppy, but when Puppy apologized and told me it was an accident, I felt better. And then Puppy invited me to play too. That's right. You want to play Hot Lava Monster with a snail? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm so glad that you apologized and explained that it was an accident, Puppy. And you did something to help. All right, goodbye for now, guys. Okay, we're going to look at this card next. And I have some questions to ask you. I'm going to pause uh, in my giving responses back. So it gives you time to come up with some answers as well. And you can also pause this video in order to take time to answer some questions. All right, let's get started on this. Okay, so we're looking at the lesson 10 uh, for the second step card here. And uh, this is a story of Angelo and Will, who were playing with a ball. Will threw it high into the air, and it came down in a puddle and splashed muddy water right in Angelo's face. Now, so you know who is who. Uh, Angelo is this fella here in the green and blue, and Will, the guy who threw the ball, is this guy here in the red. So Will threw the ball up in the air, landed in the puddle, and the muddy water splashed Angelo right in the face. So my first question is, for you to think about is, think about how Angelo here might be feeling. Do you think he might be feeling surprised? Upset? How can you tell Take a look at his face. Take a look at his body. Look at the whole situation of what happened. Is that one way you can tell that he's upset and surprised? Now, think about how Will here is feeling. Do you think he might be feeling concerned, upset, 
Sorry? How can you tell he might be feeling those ways? Maybe take a look at his face or the position of his hands and the situation of what happened. Maybe that's one way that we can tell that he's feeling concerned and upset and sorry. Do you think Will splashed Angelo on purpose? Or do you think it was an accident? Well, it was an accident. An accident is something that wasn't meant to happen. Will didn't intend or mean to make the ball splash Angelo. Let's predict what the boy's feelings might be if something else happens. If Will here ignores what happens and just continues to play, then Angelo might feel What do you think? Do you think Angelo might feel angry, hurt, sad, if Will just ignores the situation? If Will starts laughing, then Angelo might feel... Do you think he might feel angry? If Angelo here starts yelling, then Will might feel... Do you think Will might feel sad or angry that his friend Angelo is yelling at him? If Will says it was an accident and apologizes, then Angelo might feel... Do you think he might feel at least a little better, if not even happy? All right, I want you to think about what Will can say now. Do you think Will could use some words like, I'm sorry, it was an accident, I didn't mean to splash you, are you okay, can I help you clean off? Will might choose to use any of those or all of those, as long as he uses a calm voice, not a voice that's angry. Everyone has accidents. I want you to think about what you could say when you do something by accident. Let's say you bumped your partner's desk and all the crayons and the markers spilled on the floor. What could you say? Let's say you knocked over your drink at lunch and it got all over the person sitting next to you. What could you say? Let's say you pulled a book from the library shelf and a second book came out with it and it landed on the person's foot who's standing next to you. What could you say? Let's say the corner of your partner's artwork tore when you were trying to hang it on the wall for the teacher. What do you think you could say? If you thought maybe some answers could have been to say, I'm sorry, or to explain that it was an accident, or to ask if that person's okay, or what you can do to help, those might all be good answers. Remember, everyone has accidents.
So today you learned two things. First, how people might feel if you do something. And second, respectful things to do and say when things happen by accident. What do you need to say when you do something by accident? I'm sorry, it was an accident. Are you okay?